One love to all my people checking me out every day, you know, following me, listening to me, partying with me, having a good time with me. It can't get better than that, you know. It's going all over the world and it's feeling good. When I started off, I didn't really uh, expect everything to grow as fast as it's growing. I had a whole different vision. First of all, uh, my history, like, I used to make mixtapes, like, on a daily when I used to live in England back in the day and sell them to the white people that I know you know like a few white girls they used to mess with me they liked what I used to do and I kept on growing as I kept on growing I used to look at people like uh, Trevor Nelson, Tim Westwood and I thought of a way like how could I manoeuvre from what I was doing from my small hustle to move more mixtapes in 2004 I moved to New York Actually, I went to visit New York. When I go to visit New York, I stayed there for like two months. I was in the streets trying to see what was going on. Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, Long Island, you know, doing what I was doing, giving out my mixtapes. Then it happened, I found out a way, like people were paying me for mixtapes. I didn't realize I could get money from it. That's when I really, acknowledge that you know something I do have some talent that people need and I have a message to deliver to the world I really concentrate on bringing people together like people with different backgrounds different races black white Spanish Puerto Rican Asian just to have something in general a memory to share of life and that's what I do that's why I do this I enjoy doing it I've been doing it for long coming over 20 years I'm like 37 plus you know I'm gonna be 38 this year which is a beautiful thing most people don't get to reach my age uh, so in New York I was hustling doing what I was doing I kept on growing and growing and growing I kept on taking my music around the stores and giving it to the Africans that were in the business doing what they were doing I was getting a lot of love which was good you know like love comes with the hate some hate some love you more but I don't really give my attention to haters. You know, they cause pain, they make you feel a certain way, they disorganize you, make you feel like this ain't for you. That came along the way, depression and everything. In 2008, I had trouble. I was living in Flatbush and people were forcing me to join gangs, which I wasn't really interested in. Like. I never like really run with no one. Like I always run by myself. I do all my little things by myself. I stand by myself. There was Trinidadians in my building telling me about joining their gang, how they could help me make money. <clears throat> I used to listen, I wasn't paying attention. Like I, I, I listen, you know, I listen to them, what they had to say to me. And I just kept it moving. For over three years, they were forcing me and telling me, like persuading me to join them and I refused. In 2008, around July, they jumped me, stabbed me in the back, they nearly killed me. A Jamaican lady from my building, thank Jamaica, one love to Jamaica, you know. She came downstairs, she had me scream and she came to the rescue, she helped me out. And somehow, somewhere, I found my way to Flatbush Avenue, ended up in a hospital, three months in a hospital, came out. These niggas were still following me, man, telling me how they could offer me money, help me get around and make more money. I wasn't interested. I wasn't interested. They didn't like it. So, I'll call you back, man. All right. Um, I wasn't living a good life after that. Like, things were different. I was scared for my life. I had things on my mind. My health wasn't that well. I kept on hustling. In uh, 2012, I made a decision. I'm like, let me come back to England and try to help people that's younger than me, you know, like get ahead in the game. Like, watch, <clears throat> watch the things I'm doing and learn from them and give them something, give them something back. Like, learn from what I've learned and not make the same mistakes I've made or go through the things I've gone through and keep on growing doing the same thing I'm doing, enjoying me grow, do this music and keep on inspiring people, helping people out, have a better day, have parties and keep on growing, probably record 
and in the future probably you know looking to movies and bigger things like just keep on inspiring people that's my vision and I just want to keep on growing and anybody that support me whatever you do the people that follow me watch what I do I really appreciate all this I appreciate uh, the blessing of YouTube SoundCloud helps me get around to people you know Please check me out on SoundCloud too. There's no interruptions in the videos. There's no advertisements. All the music is clear. There's just straight mixes on there. I have so much stuff on there and I'm gonna keep on uploading more stuff. To the young people that's out there wishing to do what I do, it's a good thing. Keep on watching and keep on growing and keep on educating yourself. Uh, before when I was growing up, there wasn't as many things, uh, opportunities as there's today. So take advantage of everything that's happening. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, uh, anything really, SoundCloud. Get your voice out there, express yourself. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Go for what you believe in. Believe in yourself, believe in God, and keep on growing. Peace, man. One love.